Last, last. Now everybody go to a breakfast. Shayo. So, everybody's first student is that she just did come to the it's a war about whatever I do. Okay, there's no good lighting over here, whatever. Sir, we are on our way to Leaving College. If you did not already know, if you couldn't already tell, um, they sent me an email right here, basically saying they have like open house classes. You can sit in, see how the classes work. Da da da. And I was like, you know what? That sounds fun. And I'm on winter break, so why not do something productive that's gonna look good on my resume? Like, so um, yeah, we on our way there now. Um. I am a little bit nervous, but I'm so confident that it's so hard for me to like be nervous, if you know what I mean. So yeah, but um, I don't really know how to get there. So like, I'm actually trying to see how to get there. So I'm ready to I'm ready to get back to y'all, but I might not be able to talk throughout the whole video. But I'm definitely going to try to record. And y'all know me; I don't like to record people's faces because I don't know them. So y'all will be seeing me looking serious, like how y'all did in the Norfolk video. So I'm complaining. <laughs> So advice for students that's interested in coming to Lima Community College? And um, to be honest, this is your place to be yourself and just get interested in whatever you want. Don't think about just prestige or something, which honestly we have it, not gonna lie. But still, you do have the place here to be who you are without fear. If you're looking for a community and to feel comfortable and in peace while studying and learning a lot, I think Lima College would be a really good option for you. This is your place, your home to be who you are and to be yourself to the future. This is Lehman. I love it. <laughs> Such a big, beautiful campus. Okay, guys. So I just left the Arts and Humanities course, class, information hall, whatever you want to call it, honestly. Um, and they, oh, that's why y'all didn't give us a goodie bag, girl. But I tell y'all, okay, so I had a goodie bag. And it came with a little bit of stuff, but. The more and more you say, like till the end, is the more and more goodie bags, goodie stuff they give you, not goodie bags. But yeah, I got like a cute, I got some merch, y'all. Got me some merch, I'm definitely wearing it. Um, I gave a lot of information too. 
this like about the program in general like i literally thought it was one thing but it's not just one thing it's a bunch of things in that one thing um and a bunch of things that i want to learn more about and stuff like that so i like that too and um the students were really informative they were real good at convincing and persuading this um people who are like just looking at Lehman, just interested in Lehman in general to want to come here even more especially because as you guys can see like yeah it's in the bronx but it's like it's not even really in the Bronx. Like, it's in the Bronx, but the campus is clean. It's beautiful, like, you know? And it's, like, it's in its own little part of this, of the, the Bronx, literally. Like, you know, it's, like, kind of, like, I don't know if any of y'all watching this ever, like, drove past Fordham University, stuff like that. It's literally just, like, Fordham, bro. It has its own space. So, like, yeah, you'll still be in New York City, but you'll literally feel like you're on campus that's far away from home. Like, because it gives campus vibes if you're looking for that kind of vibe. You know what I mean? But, yeah, really liked it, really enjoyed it. Um, And I'm definitely coming tomorrow for the School of Education one, bro. The next day. Good morning guys, good morning, good freaking morning to y'all, like seriously, because y'all woke up and y'all seen me uploaded a new video and you decided to click on that video, you made the right decision on this beautiful, beautiful, well the day I'm recording this is Wednesday, so Wednesday morning, but for y'all it'll probably be next week Friday or Thursday because I usually upload towards the end of the week. It is currently 10 11 in the morning. Per per. Y'all like my um my black screen. It's so cute. It's so so cute. So cute. Cause then this is my home screen. Like, let me show y'all. Wait, hold on. I was watching my show, Gilmore Girls. If you don't watch Gilmore Girls, then you're not that girl because it's the best show on Netflix. Like it's old. So if you don't like old shows, then don't even bother yourself with watching it. But I like all the old school shows that my mama used to watch growing up. But and then this is my um what is this called my home screen per you know i love pink so yeah anyways this morning we are going to the school of education today uh, today and um lehman is so big i didn't even know that like bro the school of education is on a whole other side like it's on a whole other side so it's like lehman is on bedford and then the school of education is on kingsbury's but it's all connected to the school. You know what I'm saying? Like, the school is so big. It's two stops. Like, how? Like, what the hell? Like, what? Like, what? But, um, hold on, y'all. Yeah, um, I'm gonna make me some breakfast. They gave me some merch yesterday. I know I told y'all that before. But I'm gonna wear the merch today because, you know, why not, right? And I know what else to wear because I've been trying to give, like, schoolgirl vibes. But, like, y'all, don't even listen to me ignore the fly trap every time you see it just act like you don't you want to know why because i don't know why my mother still has that up there and it's december wait it's not december don't even look at my toe this is my fit right here this is the lehman shirt and i got my um these are my favorite jeans so in the end um these big and now i'm gonna wear these shoes it. Your girl tripped out. Please don't Y'all, I'm going to eat something, finish doing my skincare routine, and I'm going to get back to y'all when I'm on the way there. This sh confusing because I told y'all, like, this campus is so big. It's all the way on Kids Bridge Road, too. But, like, I'm here, but I'm just like, yo, how do I get in there? Like, oh my God, look. This is the building I'm supposed to be in, right? But like, how do I get inside of that building? Like, there's literally, and it doesn't even look like nobody's in there. Oh my God. <sighs> Yo, I gotta figure this out. This is the building I'm supposed to be in, Carmen Hall. I'm late. I don't care. This school is I gotta stop cursing, my bad. Sorry, mom. Let me let you know that there's some liberal arts courses at the undergraduate level that you need to complete. That's really important. Second, as Fatima mentioned, and I really recommend all of you sign up for MedTeach. I've never had a student who was unhappy that they signed up for that because it's a great program. Um, you will be passing some tests. There's a lot of support here at Lehman. There are workshops. We try and take parts of the test and embed them in our coursework so you're really ready for those tests. 
you'll take a series of four workshops. Some of you, if you start working in schools, and sometimes you do at the undergraduate level as an assistant teacher, a paraprofessional, uh, you have to take a series of workshops just to be in a school. I have an associate's degree in human services. I wanted to be a social worker, but it's like, mm -hmm. you know, how is that gonna work? Like, you know, if I want to transfer from human services to education. So what will happen, um, Avery, who was talking to you before, mm -hmm. when you come in to Lehman College, you will trans, they'll tell you which course. I have a question about what you need to do to be a New York State certified teacher. Okay. Oh, yes. Right there. Hi. Hi. I have one. Um, um. Mm. Once you decide you're going to do the minor to master's, that's your, your senior year, you have to decide that by. Really, you decided in your junior year because you did the courses in your senior year. Mm -hmm. Then you have to decide. But here is the nice thing. After you get your master's and your initial certification, you do all those things on the other slide, you are eligible to write to the state and say, I want an extension. So let's say you do early childhood, mm -hmm. and you say, I want an extension to do childhood, and the state will tell you, take these courses, and you have your extension. Okay. It's usually two to three courses. Courses. So we do have quite a few people who do childhood and get extension in early childhood, early childhood and extension in childhood. Gives you a lot of room. Yeah. Gives me a lot of room for moving around in the school. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes great sense. And I have another question too. So for special education, do they have like an extension for that too? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have a program at Lehman. Um, we have a double master's in special education, early childhood. Mm. It is actually housed in special education. Yeah. So you get both masters in early childhood and special ed. Mm. But in the minor to masters, you take nine credits toward that special education degree. If it, if you just want to get a master's in early childhood. Mm -hmm. Then once you get your master's, if you come back and take two courses, you've just gotten your advanced uh, certification in special ed. Right. And one more question, my fault. Yeah. So can I also take a bilingual extension with that also? We recommend it. Right. So if you do early childhood or childhood, and you want a bilingual extension, you are not even taking extra courses. No. You're substituting <coughs> literacy and a social studies course for the bilingual literacy and social studies course, it's mm -hmm. not even extra credits. Thank you. The only place that can give you to come and be part of our program, right? Even if you decide later on in maybe your junior and senior, you decide, okay, this is what I want to do, you can still come to us, we'll still work. Even if you graduate, you can come back, we'll still work. So that that's the most important thing that we will always find a way to make sure that we help you. Oh, what's your name? Uh, oh, Clarell. Clarell. So Clarell used to be a paraprofessional. Those those are in the, uh, professionals who work alongside the, um, the teacher who maybe a student need, has special needs, right? And that's a paraprofessional. We have a program called Leap to Teach right here that can help you go from being a paraprofessional to a classroom teacher. Right? So those are these type of programs. So, important thing with our minor. Minors, our MHSC, we call it Midland High School Ed Minor, um, is in two steps. The first is um, you have to declare your minor. So once you get accepted, you de declare your minor. That's in a particular system that you do. And you also have to be fingerprinted and go through a background check. Be, be clear about that, okay? That, that because you will be working with small children. Um, if you're already in this background check has to be linked to New York State also. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the city system doesn't talk with the state system, and that's the problem. So I would use, I would want to say no, but sometimes you have to. Okay. So um, so the, so you'll come come and you'll join the minor, which is uh, part one of the minor, which is um, generally 13 credits, and these are the courses education, um, uh, psychological foundations of education. Chat GPT 4. Okay. Yes. Um, and there's a lot I can say about that, but for brevity's sake, I'm going to move through this, but then I can answer questions in just a moment. 
So this is one of any number of AI systems. The most prominent one right now is ChatGPT4. But uh, and so what I'd like you to do, Louis, is I'm going to have Jennifer come here too. Is, uh, just go ahead and type in there. Um, we're reading about the myth of Oedipus. Yeah. 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 Reading about the myth of Oedipus. Actually, let's let's just get this started. Mm -hmm. so, well, let's try to jump in and ask for I'm going to be really direct with this chat box. Why did the Sphinx kill herself after the girl was solved? Now, I'm assuming that this chat box can figure out that context. Go ahead and uh, send that one in. And Goldfish responds, that's a thought-provoking question about the myth of the Sphinx and Oedipus. It knows exactly what we're talking about. The Sphinx, according to the myth, posed a riddle to the citizens of Thebes, decreeing that those who failed to solve it would be killed. When Oedipus successfully solved the riddle, the Sphinx goes. So it kind of summarizes the story. Thank you for wanting a verse from me. Apologies for the wait, sometimes it's hard to make the distractions of off you. For enough time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it this morning, I got to. I'm thinking about you. Okay, so that was the end of the tour slash um, classes, session, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really, 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 it's no good light in this way, so please bear with me. I really, 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 really like uh, doing stuff like this because I feel like it helps me get a better grasp of like, the career path that I'm interested in as well as just like knowing more about whatever school I choose to go to now I am going to do a little sit down with y'all when I get home after I shower and stuff like that so I can talk to y'all more about just where I am mentally after you know attending this is um a lot and y'all gonna be seeing me do more stuff like this before you know getting to whatever school I choose to go to but yeah, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just got back home and I just really, really, really wanna say thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and for going along this journey with me of like college tours, we done been to Morgan, Norfolk, now Lehman. And I told y'all like in the last video, in the Norfolk video, the next up and coming schools that we have, but like it's so much in between because you know, I can come out with a whole plan and platform and then I'll get like 10 different emails from all of the different schools just you know putting me on to like different events and stuff that they have and i was just trying myself up for it and i'm just like you know what this is a perfect thing to record like, ugh, so yeah again thank you guys so much for tuning into this freaking video and be sure to tell your aunties cousins uncles grandmas brothers and sisters about my youtube channel because it's really the best out there. Like, I'm giving y'all content that I don't really see nobody doing right now. Like, I could be wrong, though. I really could be wrong. But just from, like, senior to freshman in college vibes, y'all are literally seeing the process, you know? I mean, not the nitty-gritty, because the FASA process was just too stressful to record. But <laughs> that's another story for another day. Um, I'm definitely considering doing, like, a, like an advice video just for, like, um, up-and-coming seniors or, like, current seniors that are struggling and feel like they're alone because, girl, you are not alone. I'm living proof that you're not alone. And, yeah, just a quick review about Lehman. Um, as stated in a live clip, I really like this school, and I feel like it has a lot to offer for students who are looking to commute. But, you know, me personally, I'm not looking to commute, so I most likely will not be going to Lehman unless I decided to, like, you know, after I get my bachelor's degree, come back to the city and then go in for my master's, then I'd probably consider going to Lehman if I decided to settle in the city. But um, yeah, if you guys want to know any more information or you have any questions about Lehman College, feel free to reach out to me. I have emails of um, professors that I've spoken to. I'd be happy to give you guys those emails so you guys can get more information about the school. But other than that, I love ya and I'll see y'all in my next video.
like I said, y'all, I wasn't expecting it to come this fast, so I'm like a little bit shocked. Like, I literally just checked it earlier because I had got like a notification um, about my package. And sorry. And um, I was like, hmm, is my package gonna come today? Like, I don't know. So, oh, this isn't for me. <gasps> this isn't for me. Blush when somebody says your name. In my stomach, there's a pain. You walk in my direction, I go the other way.